G O B. Welcome to another GOB course vlog. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here for part two of this weekend called Vlog here at Fincastle in Virginia, hold 10 to 18. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out part one. Blue skies, green grass, not much to complain about. Let's just go ahead and jump right into that 10th tee. Welcome back, Colt 10, car three straightaway as you can see, over a small lake, bunkers left, right, and long, mid-iron approach right into a back slope, hits and rolls right below the hole, leaving me a good look at birdie and kaboom, birdie bottle time, no greater feeling, birdie bottle time. A great way to start the back nine. Wow, Birdie, let's see if we can keep it going. Just go ahead and give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bring me some luck. Right in a hole 11, par five, dog leg left to right down the hill. Let the big dog eat to start and I strike it well. Play off my standard cut. It rolls right out into the short grass. Three wood, just carrying distance. And again, well struck right up the left side. Leaving me a wedge approach shot. Bump and run. Here we go. Pull it just a little bit long. But that's okay. Long downhill birdie putt. Just doesn't swing back right to left like I thought it would. But in all things, tap in pars. Can't complain. Let's go. Hole 12, par three straight away as you can see. Bunkers left and right. Fairway wood struck well. Just cuts off a little bit too much. Ends up short of the bunker. Bump and run chip. Caught just thin. Long into the high side of the green. Long downhill par putt, swing, swing, and oh, uh, we'll call that a lip out. The tap in bogeys, amateur style, good hole. Hole 13, par four up the hill, bunkers left and right around the green. An aggressive line right up the left side. Tick, tick, comes down through the tree and right under the tree. Floppy chip ends up a little bit thin, but turns out quite well. Hits on the right side and gets above the hole. Long downhill birdie putt. Zoom, zoom right on by. Leaving me a whole lot more work than I would like. Let's see if I can jump up here and make my putt. And boom, trickled in with the par. Another great hole. Oh, 14, par three straight up the hill, bunker short and left and right and long. Fairway wood taking the extra club up the hill, hits on the service and rolls out long right into that back bunker. Splashy sand shot, get out in one, that's the rule, and I meet that goal. Leaving me this par putt that, oh no, just short. But another tap in bogey, amateur style. Always a good thing. Moving on. Hole 15, par 4 straight away as you can see and slightly back to the left. Let the big dog eat. And it gets fed right out into the short grass. One of the best drives I hit all day long. Fairway wood just trying to carry up the hill. Open my club face up and it sprays out just slightly to the right. It's okay, bump and run chip, onto the surface we go, and there was no stopping this downhill chip, but long uphill par putt, oh, skips right by the edge of the hole, but again, another tap in bogey, amateur style, another good hole, moving on. Hole 16, par 4 along the ridge at the top of the mountain. A little bit of a dog leg right to left. Tease it high, lets it fly right out into the short grass. Again we go. Leaving me this mid-iron approach. Get up and under it slightly. 
It ends up short and to the right, but still on the surface. Long birdie putt that I want to slow down, but it ends up just about pin high. Gives me another look at par here. See if I can clean it up. And kaboom! Another par. Another great hole. On to the next. Hole 17 par 5 dog leg right to left. Down the mountain we go. Let the big dog eat one more time. Tease it high. Plays my standard cutoff into the top of the tree and it gets knocked down right to the corner. Don't feel safe playing a draw so I try to punch a 7 iron and Ends up rolling left to right down the side slope, but still that's okay. Bump and run chip. Flopped up to the center of the green, giving me another look at birdie, and oh, just trickles to the right. But another tap in par, stress free. What a great hole. Big finishing hole, hole 18, par 4, out of bounds left, bunkers right. Sees it high, lets it fly one more time down off the mountain. What a great view. End up just short of that front bunker. Mid iron approach, hoping it would cut back, and it ends up out to the left into some rough. Leaving me this testy bump and run chip right on the skirt. It lands and trickle, trickle, it makes it to the second slope, and I am hoping for another hole out and just short. Quite unfortunate, but tap in par. What a great hole, great finish, great course, great day. So, this has been part two of this GV course vlog here at Fincastle. Play some good golf, play some bad golf, but all in all, still had a great day. If you've enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Everyone, have a great day. As summertime moves into season, always remember, time is precious. Enjoy every moment. Do you want to know?